one tie in 1927 in Birmingham. It was nine to nine. Ty King of the Bulldogs will call for a fair catch. Go for it on fourth and four. Sanford does this almost on every possession. This is the 32nd time they've gone for it this season. Welch in a muddy pocket, loses the football. It's recovered by Auburn and back the other way goes Christian Tut. Off on this snap. But she doesn't need any help, that's for sure. Force Liam Wells to flush up in the pocket. Ball comes out. As you Go out and show your identity today going into next week's Iron Bowl. There's their identity, D.J. Williams. Knicks, one-on-one -on -one ball, incomplete, and there comes the flag. Seth Williams and Christian Matthew in a one-on-one -on -one battle. It's his face as he delivered the pass. Fake to Booby, and it's Stowe with daylight near the goal line, just short. Blocking in front of Whitlow. Booby, touchdown. <laughs> he takes a shot here. Looks like he will. Welch will load up in the coverage. Incomplete. They're calling that an interception, yes. Picked off. Somehow Jeremiah Denson grabbed that football and Auburn gets it back again. He's the leader of this defense. We can talk about great players, but he's the one that runs the show. What great range to track this ball down from his safety spot, makes it all the way over to the sideline. Schwartz on the jet sweep. First down for the Auburn Tigers. The injury last week to Mississippi State. Mac Jones in the tide will be here next week. Knicks incomplete. Maybe a little miscommunication with Seth Williams there. From 43 yards. It is blocked. Block, and that will get the kicker's head. Great for the other receiver on that side of formation to get going. Third and 12, and Welch just about threw a perfect pick to Christian Tut. Now Tut has a chance to catch this punt and do some damage in special teams. From the 39, he has passed the 50. Struggled in the first few quarters of these last few games. Whitlow bouncing off Samford Bulldogs is inside the 35-yard line. They capitalized not only on good field position, but on the end of long drives. Booby again. Booby inside the 20. Staying on his feet, carrying Bulldogs inside the five. It'll be first and goal. So is Auburn. Whitlow, touchdown. 31-yard run on the play before. Georgia winning out 85%. First down run, D.J. Williams, hard running near the 30. Environment that a lot of these coaches have had in a long time. Fourth and four, shovel pass, first down inside the 20, inside the 15. And kind of wrap your head around the opportunity as Auburn in an unbalanced offensive front here. Knicks ahead to Joyner, touchdown. Harold Joyner, the redshirt freshman from Birmingham. Offensive front. And this is Chris Oladokun fumbling the ball, squirting free, and recovered by the Tigers, Roger McCreary, inside the 20 yard line, and that is the third takeaway for the Tigers. Back, fumbled, had fumble issues last week. You see Ricochet Rabbit coming in there, AKA Zacoby McClain. Number 35, puts his helmet right on the ball. And the wind is starting to pick up too, guys. Shivers again. First down. Inside the five near the three. Forget it. Let's keep it tight. Nothing easy. Keep the ball on the ground. And see if you can't grind it out. Three straight times to Shivers. Culminating with another Auburn touchdown. Overturned and Auburn lost by seven. And I can tell you the coaching staff is still firm or stands based on the replay review because he'll rule the catch on the field. Knicks with that wet ball out of the backfield. It's Whitlow spinning inside the 30. A 
Martin. Straight ahead, hard running. Pads popping, first down inside the 20. Snaps. And then have a better idea of how you could use them the following year without having to burn eligibility. Uh, that's a dangerous, that's incomplete though. Under 40 yards. And he's now nine for nine from that distance this season to the top. A few more to get to before the end of the game. That's behind and it's a pick. And it's cut again. Trying for the pick six. Tackled by the quarterback Welch at the 10. He has the completion mark. Instead it's Williams to the ground with an easy touchdown. Formation that we saw them get in earlier. Stanton running into defenders well short. Dude, that's, just, that's versus an elite offense or what looks to be certainly not a fantastic defense for LSU from what power, and he is explosive. He's not just a big space shooter. A tremendous actor. Kendall Watson getting free into Auburn territory. He's on the far side of the screen. Welch will pass, actually tuck and run, and that will convert the first fourth down Sanford had today. A unique talent like a Devlin Hodges that he had at quarterback, Walter Payton Award winner a season ago. Those aren't easy to replace. Be going. This is from 50 yards, his career long, it's 45, and they had a little trouble with the hold, and he pushes it to the right. Big, big brother, we'll call him. Third and two, Cam Martin. Rides a couple of Bulldogs ahead for the first down. Amicably, we still speak very highly of Joey Gingwood here at all. Left-hander, it's a completion to Hill. And Matthew is into Sanford territory. Pick by the Phillies organization. Shivers. Flies ahead inside the 30. Because of all the rain that you've seen, and the footing is not going to be great here late. Sandberg taking a shot to the end zone in stride to Zach Farrar. There. And what he's been able to do for Louisville this year. But it's not exactly in good condition when he got to Louisville. Marcus McLean with his first catch of the season. And McLean is down inside the 25 for 80 yards. And hitting the hole hard as Joyner. He's already got a receiving touchdown. And he's pushed out of bounds inside the five. Burt with Joyner staying in there. Faking it to him. Sandberg at the last second. Another touchdown pass. And it again is Zach Farrar. I think George is due for a, a really good football game. They're going to need it. LSU might be due for a clunker. I don't even know if it would take that for the Bulldogs to get the win. Ending off a couple of times. And this is Deshaun Sheffield. Helping his teammate. That's really cool that he gets to have that experience today. It's again, it's Sheffield ahead, and he's breaking free. Up near midfield. A miracle is going to be shut out for the first time since 2000 on third and two. Slinging it again. Case Osment. Excellent. Toilet roll security. Well, Auburn gets out of here without any injuries. They did lose a player due to targeting that will have to miss the first half. Jamie and Sherwood. But other than that, great defensive performance. Uh, the streak is snapped for Samford for shutouts, 52-0 the final.